Hey, it's Heather, and today we're making white cooked chicken in honor of Year of the Dragon, Chinese New Year. So I'm going to start with ginger, which is one of the three triumvirate ingredients for Chinese cooking. I peel it off with the edge of a spoon. It works really well, far better than a knife. And then just chop it up coarsely. Uh, I'm trimming some scallions. That's the other one of the triumvirates. And of course, garlic. That is the major third ingredient. I just cut the tip off of the root, squish it, and then peel off the skin. I'm just going to put them all with some sherry into the poaching liquid. Uh, that is going to make a beautiful, flavorful basis for our chicken and will result ultimately in a wonderful soup stock. Also a little bit of salt. I'm making bok choy to go with this because it goes really well, but back to my broth. You're gonna let it simmer for about a half an hour so everything you know comes all together. And uh, you know, cover it while you do it. And we're gonna get to our chicken. Basically, you just wanna pull all the fat out that you can and um, put it in slowly as it's slowly boiling, uh, breast side down, uh, and be careful not to splash or splatter. If there's a neck added in there too, extra flavor is always good. Um, and we want a slow poach. Now here is where we're gonna decide how long we wanna poach it. We wanna poach it anywhere from 14 to like a 40 minutes, depending on how long you can let it steep. Once you, and then you want it submerged. So you put something on top of it, I chose a plate. Then you're gonna turn the fire off, cover it and remove it from the heat. Now we're gonna let it sit. No less than like an hour, 10 minutes, preferably longer. Uh, I'm also gonna work out that baby bok choy, little garlic, little ginger, little canola in my wok. Does not have to be a wok. Um, get it nice and hot. Do that quick stir fry on the, on the garlic and ginger and then quickly coat your uh, bok choy, um, which is available now everywhere. Really great. A little bit of water because you want it to steam. And then we're simply just gonna let that go, not too long, whatever desired tenderness you like. Now I'm gonna get back to my sauce for the chicken, starting with a lot of chopped shall, uh, scallions, garlic, touch of sesame oil, ginger, and sugar, a touch of sugar, and soy sauce. And now I'm gonna get back to my chicken, which by now has been sitting for about two hours. It's not too terribly hot, and now you cut it. Classically, you would do it in a Chinese manner. I have no idea how to do that. So I do my good old French trained way, taking the wings off, the legs off, uh, split the um, breast, take the back off. I, I cut the thighs from the legs and remove the skin. The skin's really not that tasty. However, the chicken underneath is spectacular, moist, succulent. Just slice that up into bite-sized pieces, again, with the dark meat as well. And now you're gonna finish your sauce with hot oil. It's really great. That's my poaching liquid. I put all the chicken bones back in there, let it sit. It's gonna make a great soup later. There's my sauce. Perfect. So, so important for this dish. Drizzle a little on your platter and also have some on the side for serving, and that's the plate. It is so delicious, so easy, a major crowd pleaser, and the perfect way to celebrate Chinese New Year. Thanks for watching.